welcome to the fourth cowcast with Tracy, David, Trevor, and Jazz. A team of researchers at Osaka University have discovered that something in red wine helps rats have erections. <laughs> it's funny how every year it changes from red wine is good for you, red wine is bad for you, red wine is good for you, or causes you cancer, prevents cancer. <laughs> gives rats massive dicks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it gives them massive... No, I think you've misunderstood that. It doesn't give them massive dicks. It's erections. I just thought that when I get right. an erection, it's, it's just growing temporarily. Right. And then it shrinks again right. and I get really just, like, scared. Let me explain. I also felt this. I, when I was younger, I, I literally thought it was a bone because people said boner, yeah. so I thought it was a bone that came coming out like like Wolverine. I did. Yeah. I really did think it was a bone. A 57-year-old accountant in Hyogo was for, who forged documents so that he could marry his ex-wife's 16-year-old daughter, daughter said he did it because he liked the girl. Does it say whether he was a Woody Allen fan? Yes, Jack. Does it say whether he was a Woody Allen fan? <laughs> Does it say that? <laughs> when questioned about whether or not he was a Woody Allen fan, the pervert said, no comment. Oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll never find out. But a fair question. Mm. Why? So, why? Because Mia Farrow adopted, they were together for so long, and then he, had, he ended up marrying Mia Farrow's adopted daughter, who was like 16. Well, their adopted daughter, wow. actually. So he was... Well, they weren't married. Adopted so he, incest. They, they weren't married, so it wasn't his... Adopted. Legal incest, then. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Here's my incest in law. <laughs> oh. That would be, be a good name for a band, though. <laughs> yeah, it would Legal be. incest. <laughs> no, I like incest in law. That's better. Oh, that would be their first album. Uh, this is a result produced from a tiny effort. More no. beautifully and more lively, <coughs> 1976. Well, I think this is a result produced from a tiny effort. May um, be a reference to the sweatshop it was made in. Right. Um, Wouldn't that be this is the tiny a tiny little... T-shirt produced from a massive effort? Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or was it? It was a Japanese person. So the tiny effort was, right. the, was the twenty seconds in bed. I'm talking about the person. Like the person was a result of just a tiny effort. <laughs> yeah. But even if you know. You know, even if the woman's like, oh, that won't need a condom. You know. <laughs> Just a tiny effort is enough. Season the palette of the vivid coloured nature. Japanese people always say they love nature. Like when you ask them their hobbies, they say, oh, we could see lots of nature. I thought, well, I mean, nature is really everything, <laughs> including yourself and the person you're talking to and the, the gravity, your stat, your. Yeah. So. Well, but, unless you're in, like, Wapongi Hills. Right. <laughs> Just what Tokyo needed, more concrete. Well, yeah. I still, you know, it depends how you define nature, I guess. Yeah. Just I saw no nature on my holiday. I, I spent it in a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy reading erotica? Are you a horny Japanese female who secretly enjoys very hentai fantasies and dreams? Writing erotica is my hobby. Please write, try reading my naughty stories. I hope you will really enjoy them. No men. How do you know if a man's reading your stories? It's like, oh, like, oh, I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the, haven't I mentioned this before, the, the Craigslist advert where the guy talks about a fetish he has, uh, a, a hurricane fetish. He has a fetish to, to get with someone in the middle of a hurricane, in the middle of a cyclone. I was going to say, what do hurricanes have to do with sex? But there you go. But okay. It's a weird fetish. I think I mentioned this before. And uh, he wrote a Craigslist act saying, I'm looking for a guy to come over to my place and we can watch Twister and beat each other off. But he writes at the end, nothing gay. <laughs> <laughs> right now, BP is like not letting any other companies bring in people for the cleanup. Really? Not even, I mean, like, yeah, they have to fix their own well, but they're not letting anybody else, they, they hired their own contractors. Wow, it's like cutting your knee when you're a kid and not letting your friend's mum fix it. You yeah, you have mom. to have your own mum fix it, right? Wow. It's even worse than cutting your knee and not, it's, and not letting your friend, it's like cutting your knee and trying to fix it by just throwing stuff at <laughs> and putting a hat on it and <laughs> expecting it to get better. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> having a live feed of your bleeding knee in the hope that, yeah. Well, you, 
you know that it took um, like 30 years for them to pass birth control, proper birth control pills in Japan. Right. They were they would not like you c- for a long time you couldn't get any birth control pills, and then they only passed the like really super strong ones that have a lot of side effects that right. were made in like the 60s. Right. So you couldn't get the proper ones, right? right. And until until Viagra came along. And they wanted to pass, the average age at that time of the diet members was 83. <laughs> so, you know, they wanted to pass that shit through in wow. like six months, right. man. But they couldn't do it without passing birth control oh, pills. Because wow. they blocked birth control pills for so many years. With like, the, they'd say like, oh no, the population's too low, we shouldn't have it. Oh, it's bad for women's health, we shouldn't have it. Every year there was a different reason why they shouldn't have it. Until Viagra. Then it's just... Literally get, rammed through, right? You've got to give the chicks something. <laughs> what you, you know, it comes in a package, right? You get one pill is blue and the other is pink, you know? Just like one is pink? Well, in birth control. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they should do that. Yeah, yeah. the company should join yeah. forces. It's like in a little package and here's your date package. <laughs> <laughs> and a little little Buy bonus capsule of Rohypnol. Yeah. In case you need that. <laughs> <laughs> Our next Mad Cow Fig Night Out is... <laughs> July the 3rd. 3rd at 8 o'clock doors open at 5 come early for delicious food a good seat and great beers hope to see you next week bye guys